I'll call Mr. Quilty now. Thank you, President. To the, my question is to the Minister representing the Premier. Your government's ongoing lockdown has not just disrupted our children's education, not just crushed the, the civil liberties of Victorians, not just almost certainly caused more death and misery than it has prevented, but has also smashed the Victorian economy. The Australian Bureau of Statistics puts the number of jobs lost at around 70,000, but federal stimulus packages like JobKeeper are almost certainly masking the true extent of the unemployment and underemployment crisis that your government has created. Worse still, the ongoing lockdown and absurd elimination strategy that the government has pursued while pretending it was a suppression strategy has created a high risk that Victoria will fall behind the other states in economic recovery and incur lasting damage. How many people have lost their livelihoods because of your government's tyrannical and arbitrary lockdown and the shattered economy? Minister. Uh, thank you, President. And uh, Mr Quilty, I will certainly pass your question on to the Premier for an answer, um, which may address some of the false assertions, but indeed pick up on some of the genuine concerns that you've raised. Thank you. Um, with this authoritarian government instituting a police state, destroying the economy and throwing the state into record levels of entrenched debt, many Victorians are reconsidering the future of the life in this state. Many fear the heavy-handed police crackdown that we've seen in the last six months is just a taste of future life in Victoria. I've heard many stories of people making plans to leave Victoria for a new life in other states like New South Wales or Queensland, where the government hasn't many destroyed civil liberties to the same extent. Others simply don't think that they're able to get a job in Victoria because the damage from the government's lockdown will scar the Victorian economy for decades to come. Some talk about Order. leaving the country they no longer recognise. This government has managed to reverse all the gains of the last 25 years and push Victoria back to the bad old days of the early 90s when Victorians were fleeing in search of jobs. My question is, how many people does the government estimate will flee Victoria as a result of your arbitrary and tyrannical lockdown and the shattered economy? Minister. <laughs> Um, it is Friday after a four-day sitting. Um, I will take um, Mr Quilty's uh, substantive question or parts of it that were questioned versus um, a narrative uh, to the Premier for response. 